Okay, so at this point we've downloaded the .NET Nuke installation version and I have gone ahead and unzipped that file already, so I'll show that to you here. And these are all the files that are within the zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this into another folder to set up our website. I've installed uh, Windows XP um, and this is just for our local installation so I've installed Windows XP with IIS and I've also installed SQL Server 2005. Uh, 2008 will work just the same uh, be in the more current version. So I'm just gonna copy these here and uh, create a folder under inet pub dub 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 root and we'll call this folder dnn local open that up paste these files in while that's copying over we'll open up iis so go to your control panel select administrative tools and then open up internet information services we are going to create a virtual directory on our default website so we will right click select new virtual directory and we'll call this uh, DNN local select next and now we're going to select that folder that we had just created and click OK and next that should be fine. Uh, we'll click finish. There's a few things we need to change within DNN local. So we'll go to properties. We want to make sure that we can do scripts and executables. Uh, and then on the ASP.NET tab, you want to select 2.0 for the ASP.NET version. And then one more thing. Under documents, we need to add default.aspx and let's just move that to the top we'll click apply and we'll click OK and so now AIS is set up and the only thing we have to do now is fix some of the permissions on DNN local so when you right click you can select properties and then you'll see Actually, we don't see a security tab. I'll show you how to turn that on. You go to your tools menu, select folder options, and then on the view tab, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see use simple file sharing recommended. If we turn that off, we actually have the ability to change some of the permissions individually. So now if we go to right click on DNN local, select properties, you'll see a security tab and for Windows XP, and uh, I believe on Vista as well, you'll add the ASP.NET account. Uh, if you're on Windows Server 2003, uh, the account that you want to add is Network Service. So we'll click OK, and you want to give that Modify Permissions. So we're going to click on Advanced so that not only does it get applied to the parent directory, but all these permissions will get pushed down to any subfolders. So click on advanced and you click this box here where it says replace permission entries on all child objects. Click OK. Continue yes. And again. So now we are all set up with our folder and IIS is configured and we can begin the um, actual installation piece. So we'll open up our browser 